With Mother's Day this Sunday and a lot of our female snakes being due to lay their eggs literally any day now, we figured it was a good opportunity to give you all an update on our gravid girls as well as wish them a happy Mother's Day. Maybe give them some flowers and a nice little Mother's Day brunch. The Mother's Day flowers we're going to be giving our mamas are carnations, actually. We have some pink ones and some yellow ones. We checked, and yes, these are a safe species of flower to put in their enclosures, and it'll actually give them some enrichment, too. It'll give them a new smell to experience. So we're going to give them flowers, and, you know, Mother's Day, one of the biggest things about Mother's Day is brunch, right? So we're going to give all of these mothers a nice Mother's Day brunch, or a little snack, too. We also reached out to our Patreon backers to send Mother's Day words of encouragement to all of these mamas to be so we have a lot of notes that we're going to be reading off to them while we give them their little Mother's Day gift and uh, yeah let's let's get going we're not gonna be able to cover all of our snakes mostly because not all of the females are going to be breeding this year it turns out not every pairing took but this will give you a good update as to what clutches we're expecting this year so yeah let's start with Sabelle our sable phase hognose snake Hi, Sabelle. She is very, very gravid right now. If you look right here, the lower third of her body is like sausage thick. Yeah, are you happy? Well, I have a Mother's Day note from you. This is from Stanny Derps on Patreon. They say, I believe in you and you're my favorite. They actually wanted to send that to the, the snake that got the least amount of messages. So Aww. Sable didn't get any Poor Mother's Sable. Day notes. She's my favorite. Yeah, I love her too. And Stanny Derps is, it says that you're their favorite. Sabelle, do you want your Mother's Day brunch? Oh, oh wow, okay. Wow. Um, we're not sure if all the mothers are actually going to take their snacks today, but uh, Sabelle definitely did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Since they're getting so close to laying their eggs, we're actually going to give them a really small meal because we've found if a snake is about to lay and they get a normal-sized meal, they sometimes regurgitate it because there just simply isn't enough room for all of their eggs and the meal on top of it. So they're all getting a pretty small meal today, but it looks like she still appreciates it. Yes. Here you go. Happy Mother's Day. Next up is Omnomelet. Omnomelet got more notes than anybody else, all along the lines of eating her babies and not to do it this year. So let's check in on her. Omnomelet, oh, you're waiting back. Come here. A lot of people have Mother's Day notes for you, girl. Hi, sweetie. I'm not actually sure if she's gravid this year. I think she might feel too guilty from eating her babies last year to, to breed this year, but that's okay if she wants to take a year off. Yep. But just in case she's gravid, we've got a couple notes from Patreon backers for you. Jennifer says, for Mother's Day breakfast this year, please pass on the eggs. Jordan says, Omnomelet, we're watching you. Don't eat the babies, please. Willow says, just remember, babies are friends, not food. Looking at you, Omnomelet. And yeah, pretty much everyone on Patreon wanted to say eggs are friends not food. So remember that omnomelet. Please don't yeah. eat your babies if you do lay eggs this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right well I'm gonna put you actually should we see if she wants a, yeah. a Mother's Day brunch? Yeah I mean she might not be a mom this year but she was a mom last year so maybe she'll want to she eat. She was yeah here do you want do you want a snack? Do you want a hopper? Oh oh do you want it? No. Okay. All right. I well, there you go. Just in case you are going to lay eggs this year, here are your Mother's Day flowers. Happy Mother's Day, Omnomelet. Next up, we have Busty Rhonda. And Busty Rhonda is very, very gravid. I'm just going to warn you right now. Oh, she has her tail in the lay box. Oh. Let me check. Uh, nope, she's just coming out of it. Okay, yeah. okay, we're good. She's we're like, good. I hear there's a Mother's Day brunch on <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh no, do we have eggs already? <laughs> she hasn't had her pre-lay shed, so we have a while, I think, before she lays, at least a week. Usually they have their pre-lay shed, and then they lay their eggs about seven to ten days afterwards. But she hasn't even had that shed yet, so we're just getting them all accustomed to the, their lay boxes so that they know they're there when the time comes. But... Busty Rhonda, you have a message from the Lucos family on Patreon who says, please produce some eggs this year so it won't be a bust. Get uh -huh, it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like the pun. I appreciate that, if Lucos You don't want to eat because of that pun, I'd understand, Busty. <laughs> I bet you will. Do you want, and look at this scale spread. Yeah. I think she's got to be gravid I mean, this year. That's what we thought last year, too. Yeah, but... that's true. Here you go. Please be gravid this year. Oh. Do you want a snack? There yes, you go. <laughs> I will take the brunch. Happy Mother's Day, Rhonda. Do you want some flowers too? Here, you eat that here. What mom doesn't want flowers? Look at this. She's so thick down there. Yeah. 
Those have got to be eggs in there. I, I mean, mean, I think we palpated her, and she does feel gravity. Yeah, too, you can so. feel some eggs in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's to hoping. Here's yep. your Mother's Day flowers. Flowers and your your meal. Enjoy. I hope you have a good day, Rhonda. Next up is bacon down here. Our het azanthic and het albino. Okay. I'm not expecting her to lay right away either, but hopefully. Oh, she does look gravity. Oh yeah, she does. Oh wow. That's cool. That could be snows. Yeah, she was paired with our het snow male. So you're right. She could have snows. Bacon, do you want Mother's Day brunch? Yes, she says. <laughs> wow, they're actually eating better than I thought yeah, they I would. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to eat. Yeah, but... this is impressive. Who sent her a message? Uh, um, Annabelle sent you a message on Patreon, Bacon. She says, you're as cute as can be, and I'm excited to see your bacon and eggs hatch. Yeah. I love the puns. You've started something bad on this channel. Good Emily. job, Annabelle. I like the puns. These are great. <laughs> here you go. I'll put you on your plant. You can eat over there. And here are your Mother's Day flowers. Happy Mother's Day! Next up is Kate, our azanthic het albino. And she was paired with another azanthic het albino, which means oh, she could produce snows. She's right up front. Snows. Hi, Kate. She heard of the brunch, too. She did. Are you? Uh, do you want in on this? She feels thick. She doesn't look super thick, but she feels... Feels well, this would solid. be first year for her, too. Yeah, so. first breeding year, so I think she might be gravid. Might give us a couple eggs. Yeah. You notice from Amanda, who says, the sooner you lay those eggs, the sooner you get lots of food. It's true. Wow. Oh, okay. She heard food. <laughs> yeah. And just She's dope. like, I still get food when I eat, when I have eggs. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm going to give you extra flowers, since this is your first year Ooh, breeding. She both pink and yellow. Yeah. Here you go, Kate. Apparently there's some favoritism going on here. <laughs> we had extra flowers. I noticed we're not using enough. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Kate. Next up is Tiffany, our lavender hog nose. Oh, Tiffany. Second favorite. You're underneath your lay box. You're not now, using that right. You have to go inside of the lay box. Look, there's some nice sphagnum moss in there for you. It's nice and comfy for you to lay your eggs. And yet you're sitting underneath it. She's like, but I'm a burrower. Yeah, I want to dig. <laughs> All right, Tiffany. Here, I'm going to move your lay box. I think she might be gravid. She looks thick there. Yeah, I'm not... I think she's, I think everybody's early along. Yeah, we might have a little bit longer to wait, yeah. so we'll see. Hey, Tiffany, do you want Mother's Day brunch? Yes. Mother's Day? Yes. I will take the brunch. <laughs> she has a message, or a Mother's Day message from Kayla, who says, Tiffany, lay your eggs soon. We all want to see if the babies are as purple as you are. Yeah, yeah I want to see, too. Yeah, it. really. I can't wait to see baby lavenders. Oh, my gosh, yes. I really hope she is gravid. Yeah, same here. Here's some flowers. Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy your brunch. And the last hognose who we think may be gravid would be Waffle, our pastel het toffee. She's just kind of a big girl anyway. She's a very <laughs> sassy girl. She's also not happy with yeah, anything in the world. Yeah, she might not be gravid. I don't feel eggs when I palpate her, but there's a chance. So she has a lay box just in case, and we'll have our fingers crossed. Yeah. I know she'll take Mother's Day brunch. Oh, yeah, I bet she will. I ran out of hoppers. I wasn't expecting all the moms to eat so well. So here, uh, you she want this? She's a full-size jumbo mouse. Yeah, she's a big hog. She'll that be able to take it. for the, uh, the, the bull snakes. Bulls, yeah. Do you want this? She might not want it anyway. Oh, never mind. No, oh. No, well, don't eat your water dish. There we go. Don't All right, eat. there we go. She's not gravid to the point where I think she yep. would regurge, so I'm not worried about this. But anyway, Waffle has a message from Amanda who says, Hey, Waffle, you can do this. I know it hurts now, but it's worth it. Toffee babies. I really hope she's gravid. Okay, I'll leave this here. Here are your Mother's Day flowers. Enjoy Mother's Day. Oh, wait. We have Azura. She, aw, Azura, I don't think we did her yet, did we? No. Oh, she just didn't get any Mother's Day messages. Oh, poor Azura. Azura, I'm sorry. She's super gravid, too. Is she? Yeah. Hi, girl. Oh, my gosh, look at you. You are so Wow, jeez. I know. She is like all eggs right there. Look at that belly. Do you see her hips start right here? Yeah. That's a big sign of eggs being in her too. She probably so. doesn't need a brunch. Yeah, we might not feed her because she's, oh my gosh. Look, it starts like way up here and then it's all eggs all the way down. What so, is Azura? Azura is a purple line who's possibly het albino, possibly het lavender. Who did we pair her with? The same thing. A male with the same thing. They came uh. from our our friends will down in okay. um, Missouri. Wow, oh, that'll yeah. be a fun clutch. Yeah, could you imagine if both she and the male prove out het lavender and het albino? That'd be, what does a albino lavender look like? I don't know, All but right. if she's het for both and he's het for both, 
there's a chance we might see it in their I babies. I also just see a male hognose above your head just chilling right there. Hi, buddy. Yeah. It's Heart Boy. Let's give you lots of flowers because you're super, yeah. super gravid. And nobody remembered you. And no one remembered you. We love you, Azura. You're amazing. Here you go. Happy Mother's Day. You can do this. And that is the end of the hognoses that we're expecting eggs from. You may have noticed we didn't cover a couple of the girls and we won't cover all the bull snakes either because there's some that they, they're just not going to lay eggs this year. And that's okay. They want to take another year off. But let's move on to bull snakes. For bull snakes, we're going to start with Dream, our hypopatternless girl who is paired with another hypopatternless male. Unfortunately, though, she laid all slugs about um, uh, three weeks ago. So except she, for one. except for one, there was Possible. one egg she pushed out that might have been good. So we're doing a video on it, and it's in incubation right now. But uh, yeah, I think she just ovulated a little too early because she was still on the schedule from her previous owner. So next year, we're hoping that we'll get a good clutch from her. But the important thing Thing, she got all those slugs out and yeah so she's just kind of hanging out with us so she's still kind of a mom so yeah. she still pushed out eggs yeah. here dream do you want a mouse you still did all the hard work it's not your fault they weren't fertilized do you want this <laughs> really you're gonna hiss while you grab it all right well there you go that's all yours i guess i'll leave you be in here and then you can have some flowers too because you still laid a lot of eggs, so here you go. Happy Mother's Day. Next, we're gonna go to the bottom of this rack, actually. This is our Azanthic girl, who was paired with Mr. Wilson, I believe. I think so. I have a, have a brain fart. I'll have to look at our notes. Yeah. Um, but yes, uh, this is It'll our- be confirmed down here. Yes, yeah, here, yes. Somewhere. <laughs> A xanthic girl's right here. Oh, she's she is, in her lay box. Yeah, I don't think she's pre-lay shed yet, so she has well, a little bit of time. We've had snakes give us eggs before pre-lay sheds. Yeah, so, so. oddly enough. It doesn't happen too often. Do you want a snack before laying your eggs? She's yeah. a little flighty. She is a little flighty. Oh, well, oh. she's still going to eat, though. Yeah, but she is a bull snake. She, that's true. But yeah, you can just see she's eggs all the way down yep. here. She is pretty big, so we're excited for more super sassy babies from her. Oh yeah. And she has a message from Brianna who says, don't worry about your scale spread. The marks don't last like in us humans. So <laughs> don't worry, girl. You're, you're gonna look like your normal you'll non- You'll recover. Yeah, you'll recover quick. Here you go, happy Mother's Day. Next up is Brad down here. That's why Emily already has the mouse out. Uh, yeah, I don't wanna <laughs> like waste time with her because I know she's probably gonna eat Bradley. Oh, jeez. That's why I had the mouse ready. <laughs> well, then. She's probably unhappy that it's a brunch. Yeah, that's true. It's a very small meal <laughs> it's a for her. Snack. But she's got lots of eggs. Oh, yeah, don't. Stop it. Don't you Stop push me away. Me. Why are you pushing me? Quit, quit pushing. Gosh. Well, Brad had a lot of messages as well, so I'll just read a couple of them. You have a Mother's Day message from Emma Joy, who says, Brad, you can do it. Can't wait to see all of your beautiful, sassy babies. Selena says, Brad, you big mama, you got this. Yeah, I don't think she's concerned. No. She seems pretty. She's doing a little bit of tail wiggle. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I just love how she pushes you yeah. away. That's how sassy that's, she is. That's the easy way of getting her off her eggs. Yeah, really. <laughs> all right, Brad. Here, do you want some flowers? Here you go. Happy oh. Mother, oh, and a tail buzz even. Well, I'll leave this with you. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, I'll leave you alone now. She's probably already done with her mouse. Probably. <laughs> Next is our female ghost over here who was in shed, her pre-lay shed when I looked at her last. Yeah. I think she's in her lay, but oh, she's in. Nice. Ooh, nice, that's a pre-lay shed. So we've got about seven to 10 days from now when we should be expecting eggs. Good job, girl. Do you want a Mother's Day brunch? Mother's Day snack. Mother's Day snack? Here, I think you'll take it, maybe. She might be at that point though where she's like, oh, I'm done with everything. Yeah, that's true. Do you not want it? She normally is right away Yeah, too. She'd, she'd take it by now if she yeah. wants it, or wanted it. So I'll just give you your flowers and I'll leave you alone. You can do it, ghost. Yep, we you believe in you. You got this. You did it last year. Yep, here's your Mother's Day flowers. You just focus on eggs. Oh, nice. and another one Emily has to get the mouse ready for. I yeah. wonder who this is. This is Priscilla. She's been enjoying biting all of our new employees lately. Mm -hmm. So I have a mouse ready for her. Priscilla! Hi, girl. She just looks angry. Yeah, she always looks like Angry at angry. the world this hey, year. Do you want a mouse? 
She's one that we actually produced. She's from Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Actually, Mr. Wilson and Missy, possibly. I'll have to okay. look at her after at her lineage. We have it written, written down. But she's a holdback that is now officially old enough to breed, and she was bred this year. So I think yeah, she's got she's, eggs. Yeah, she definitely has eggs. You think so? Just looking at her, I know okay. she's got eggs in there. Right, you're another pusher. Jeez, you're all so sassy. I like tickling you, though, when you're <laughs> kind of distracted like this. Well, here you go, Priscilla. You enjoy your Mother's Day brunch. Have your flowers. Don't squish your flowers. <laughs> oh, push my flowers away. I don't want those. <laughs> All right, you enjoy. And, did she uh, not get any words of encouragement? She. Oh, she did. She did okay. get one note. Yeah. All right. From Sleepy Cat, who says, I'm looking forward to seeing your spicy babies. It's like they're born as teenagers. <laughs> yep. Well, they pretty much are yeah. when they're bull snakes. I mean, so. she's still a teenager. She kind of is, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Priscilla, you focus on eggies. And we have one more left. This is Hannah. And... Oh, that's another one we produced. Yeah, that's true. This is Hannah's first year breeding for us. She was paired with Stripey. Yeah, this was actually our first ever clutch. That's right. Yeah. And now she's old enough and, and we'll have grand famous. snakes. This is going to be great. She was looking really gravid, too. So, <gasps> Wait, what? There's eggs. Is there really? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my oh gosh, my gosh. Hannah. Well, I guess Hannah doesn't need words of encouragement. She can just have eggs without the words. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, good job, girly. Hannah, you did. Did she get them all out, too? Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah, it looks like it. And yeah, she would have bulges near the end there. Wow. Good job, girl. Well, Hannah has a message from Asher, who's five years old, and they say, Happy Mother's Day, Hannah. You're going to do a great job with your first clutch. And you did. And you did. Look at all those. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess we're gonna have our first egg video coming out soon. Yeah. And it'll be Hannah's clutch. I guess Hannah's gonna be our first good clutch this year. Oh my gosh! Do you think she'll eat though? Uh, I mean, I mean you can try. I doubt she will. They don't, they normally don't eat right after they lay their yeah, eggs. Yeah, they like, need a couple days. Do you want a snack? You did such a good job, Hannah. She is looking at it though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course you're still gonna eat. I don't want you to like really constrict and freak out though because you've got eggs in there. Yeah. So I'm just gonna leave her alone. She'll just eat it as is. I guess is. she can have the rest of the flowers then. Uh, yeah, here you go, Hannah. Perfect timing there. Happy Mother's Day. I'll let you eat that. And I guess we're gonna film another yeah, I guess video right after this. Now we have to this. film something right now. <laughs> okay. So that's all of our snakes that we're expecting eggs from this year. Well, all of our hog noses and bull snakes anyway. We are also expecting eggs from our rat snakes and a couple other species, but we don't want to count all of our eggs before they hatch. So we'll be making the egg videos as they come out. But I hope you enjoyed today's Mother's Day special. Don't forget to wish your moms a happy Mother's Day this Sunday. Happy, happy Mother's Day, Mom, and happy Mother's Day, Mom-in-law. Happy Mother's Day, Mom, and Mom, too, if you're watching this. There, we didn't forget. Yeah. It'll just yep. be early. Now I can't forget. Yes, perfect. It's already on film. Thank you as always to our Patreon backers as well for your very generous support that allows us to do so much. And thank you to everybody watching today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed and have a great Mother's Day. Priscilla, now go have your eggs. You need to become a mama. Quit biting us. No, no, no. Keep biting the employees. It's funny.